everyone and welcome back. This is Bagel Egg and Let's Dig It. I'm up Jay's today. He's got football on. And I'm going to make two different batches of manicotti. And I thought I would bring that to the channel and show you how I make it. So right now, I just have the water on boiling. And I will bring you back when I'm ready to start um, actually mixing the ingredients. Okay, so let me show you some of the ingredients you're going to need. I also have fresh basil. There's the fresh basil. Dry basil. Mozzarella cheese. And we are doing bolognese sauce by Rayos. Um, for one pan. In the other pan, I picked tomato basil and roasted garlic. Ricotta cheese. Oregano. Some parsley. Eggs. Chopper if we need it. Um, if I decide to go in with any garlic for my tray. So I'm making up Jay a tray for the week. We're going to have some for dinner tonight. And then I'm going to take a tray home. So minimal ingredients. You might already have them on hand. Highly recommend this sauce right here big time. It's a couple dollars more, but it's really, really good. And these are not my eggs because I didn't know he didn't have any. So I had to buy some cage-free eggs from Okay, so, follow the directions on the box on how many minutes to boil it for, which could be about four to five minutes, and I think I'm going to use a baggie when I put the filling in to try to pipe it into the actual shells. So, let's get started mixing the ricotta cheese. Okay, so I just opened up the container, and this size is, let's see. 48 ounces right there and in it's going <laughs> that plopped right out then we're going to go in with two brown eggs if you hear anything in the background that's just the water boiling and let's find the salt and pepper Fresh cracked black pepper. Don't be shy because it's going to make a lot. Okay. And then we're going to go in with some Himalayan salt. Remember, it's a lot of cheese. So, I'm eyeballing it because I've made this a million times. Parsley. I would say probably a couple tablespoons of parsley. And then let's go in with oregano. Let me put my light on for you. Is it on? Yes, it's on. Oregano. Okay, I have fresh basil, but I'm also going to go in with some dried basil. Like I said, I eyeball it, but I'll leave the instructions down in the description or the show note. Freshly chopped basil. Okay, let me show you how the manicotti, manicotti come in the container. Like little tubes. Water's starting to boil. I'm going to salt it, and I'm going to drop these in for about six minutes. Pasta's in, boiling, but almost forgot to add, add about a cup, cup and a half. Uh, like I said, I eyeball everything, because I've been making this for years, so you do you. And then we're just going to mix it up again, and then we'll stuff them as soon as they're done boiling. Okay, so with these, you want them to be al dente, but not quite as al dente, because you don't want them to rip so you can fill them. So I'm going to drain them. Just don't forget, they'll cook in the oven. I'm going to drain them, and I will bring you back when I'm ready to fill them. All right, so on the bottom of this pan is the bolognese sauce. And I used just a baggie because I don't have a piping bag here. They're a little bit more cooked than I would have liked. But let's go for it. Try to grab one you can open and just start filling it up. 
have to remember it has an open side. So, and if you watch it, you could see it within the noodle. Sorry, I wasn't even in the film. Fill it up. Like so. Okay. And then long ways. Do one more with you. I'm trying with my tripod here, folks. Just you might get a little cloggage here and there. skip. Okay. And you can put it that side down and then retwist your bag. And do the next one. This is just an easier way to do it when you don't have a piping bag on hand. I'm going to finish piping these and then I will bring you back. What? Okay, so I have most of the tray done. I'm going to show you this little system we've been doing here. Hopefully you can see he's holding the one end, but you can do this by yourself because I've done it for years. But if your hubby or somebody wants to help, flip it over and then fill up some more. Let's show you. It's going to go right there. This is how I did it. So the bottom and then there's a top layer. So let me just fix that. I did put a little of his sauce in between the layers. So one more for this pan. Oh baby, fill me if up. If you sque squeeze it hard enough, you could normally get half the shell, but. Okay. Okay, there. So let me show you. Here's the pan. You can put it right there and then I'll go over it with sauce. And since this is Jay's pan, he can decide. So I'm going to have to touch my tripod as so I lift it up so you can see the pan. Sometimes I used to squeeze it over top, but I don't know if that's too much for one person. So, All right, so he's having bolognese sauce. So let's give this a little sauce. Trying to get, can I have a splash of water? Thank you. Okay. And now, you can put basil leaves all over it. I already washed it when we first got in. I'm not even going to tear it up. Um, he doesn't want garlic in his. So, this is basically how you make it. Like I said, you can squeeze the extra and spread it across the top. But that's a preference thing. Then you can go in with mozzarella cheese. And now, so he doesn't want any more cheese on his. He's good. Except for the mozzarella cheese. Just go in over the top. And plus it's disposable pans, less work, less cleanup. And I figured I never brought manicotti to the channel. Sorry if I still sound thick because I am. But don't chimp it on the cheese. In the oven. It's about 30 minutes and you have sun. Okay everyone, so this is what the bolognese sauce with the manicotti stuffed looks like. And it's going to go in the oven. 350 for about 35-40 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. 
And now the next batch I'm going to make is just going to be with regular sauce. So I'm not going to bring you back for that, but I'll show you what it looks like coming out of the oven. So there it is. Let's get a pretty picture. <sighs> okay. And then we'll bring you back when it's finished. Okay. So got my pan done, which was just roasted garlic sauce, no meat. And there's Jay's, so there's the manicotti. I'm going to preheat the oven and put them in in a minute because it's still kind of early here, but quick, right? It was very quick to make and a good little Sunday meal. So again, I will bring you back and show you what that looks like when it comes out of the Everyone, just took it out of the oven. This is the two pans of baked manicotti. And hope you enjoyed the video. Easy peasy meal. And I will catch you on the next one because we're going to sit down and we are going to eat. All right, friends. See you on the next one.